Many of us have our phone or tablet with us when we're away from our desks. You may have a working lunch, or your kid needs to borrow your laptop for schoolwork. Whichever the case, you can still video call to get work done using the Google Meet mobile app. To begin, you'll need to download the app to your smartphone or tablet and log in using your Google account. In our example, we're using an iPhone, so there may be some subtle differences for those using an Android phone. At the top of the screen, there are two buttons to choose from. If you've already received a code, you can enter it in by tapping the Join with a Code button. Type it in the field, then tap Join. If you prefer to host the meeting, tap the New Meeting button. A pop-up menu appears with a few options. First, let's tap Get a Meeting Link to Share. The dialog box appears with a link that you can copy and share with those you want to invite to the video chat. It's best to save the link so that you can return to it later. Depending on the device you're using, the Share Invite button will have different options. In this example, we can text, email, or share it via social media. The Schedule in Google Calendar option will take you to the Google Calendar app if you have it on your device to set up a future Google Meet video call. Let's tap Start an Instant Meeting. Since you're the host of the meeting, you'll be the only one in the meeting until others join. If someone tries to join the meeting that wasn't invited, a dialog box appears giving you the option of Deny Entry or Admit. For our example, we'll tap Admit because we know the person. Within the video call, there are features to explore. Looking at the top of the screen, tap the video call's code. The People tab lets you know who is in the call. As the organizer of the meeting, you can tap the three horizontal dots next to the participant's name to mute a particular person. In order to talk, the person will have to unmute themselves. You can also tap the three vertical dots. A menu appears giving you another way to mute them, pin their video tile to your main screen, and remove them from the video call. Pinning their video tile lets you only see that person. Tap Cancel to exit out of the menu. Next, tap the Info tab. The joining info can be found here as well. To exit this menu, tap the down arrow in the top left corner of the screen. In the top right corner, there is a flip camera icon to switch between the front camera and the back camera. In this example, the audio icon lets you choose either iPhone or speaker. If you don't want to have the phone near your ear, you can choose the speaker option, which amplifies the sound for you and those near you to hear. If you want to see yourself on the main screen instead of the little screen, tap the three dots on the little screen. The person you're talking to will now become the little screen. Looking at the icons at the bottom, tap the three vertical dots. A pop-up menu appears showing you more Google Meet mobile features. If you want to invite more people to the call, you can tap Add Others. To message people within the video call, tap In Call Messages. Type your message in the field. Then, tap the arrow button to send it. Keep in mind that only people in the call can see the message and they are deleted when you end the meeting. If someone sends an attachment, you can also find it here. To close out of In Call Messages, tap the X. To show guests in the video call your screen, tap Share Screen. This is a helpful feature if you're presenting via a tablet or a smartphone. It's different from the desktop process because you can't choose a browser tab in the mobile app. The whole screen is shown. Before selecting this option, make sure your phone or tablet is presentation ready. Two features that are not available on mobile is the ability to change your background and the ability to change the layout of your screen. If you're talking to more than two people, you can tap each person's little screen at the bottom to change who you see on your main screen. Looking at the bottom of your screen, the microphone icon helps you turn on or off your microphone, while the video icon turns on or off your video camera. You can change these features as you carry out your video call. Finally, when you're done video chatting, simply tap the End Call button. GCF Global creating opportunities for a better life.